This is Richard Allen's request for Judge Gull to recuse herself in the Delphi case. We'll see which is going to be the last man standing or last woman standing. Richard Allen's affidavit in support of his second verified motion to disqualify Judge Gull and request for findings of facts and conclusions of law upon denial of this request, if this court denies the request. Comes now the affiant Richard Allen, by and through counsel, and swears and affirms the following are true. 1. My attorneys have reviewed with me all the facts contained in the defense second verified motion to disqualify Judge Gull and request for findings of facts and conclusions of law upon denial of this request if the court denies this request. 2. I agree with the facts contained in the motion and ask that the contents in that motion be incorporated into this affidavit. 3. While I would like to believe that Judge Gull can be fair and impartial, I believe that a rational inference of bias exists against me and more so against my chosen attorneys, and I fear that I will not be able to receive a fair trial based upon the facts contained in the first motion of Judge Gull to recuse herself, as well as the new motion of Judge Gull to recuse herself. 4. I would ask Judge Gull to please step aside and let a new judge take over the case that will not show bias against my attorneys or at least the appearance of bias. I swear and affirm that the statements I made herein are true and accurate to the best of my knowledge. Signed, Richard M. Allen. Facts establishing the timeliness of Defendant Allen's request for change of judge pursuant to RCP. 2.4 C2. Since the last motion of disqualification was filed, Judge Gall has continued to show unfair treatment to the defense, has laid out in the motion. This includes the most recent event of sending a Sunday morning e email informing the defense she was significantly cutting their time to present their case at trial, and also telegraphing to the prosecutor legal strategy. The cumulative effect of all the examples of bias spread over the two months took place well beyond the time frame originally required under rule. Signed, Bradley A. Rosie and Andrew J. Baldwin. Thanks for listening in to Deb's True Crime Notebook. Please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave us a message, share this with a friend and in a group, and ring that bell for all notifications.